Good morning, Armor Insiders. Welcome to the morning meeting of our virtual hedge fund. I appreciate you guys spending time with me this morning. We'll go over some thoughts about Jackson Hole later today, um, how we traded yesterday, something we haven't done in a very, very long time, and I'll walk you through it. Going to touch on the Armor algorithm for trading triple the S&P on a swing trading basis and how it's different than the risk monitor and what we just did there in that portfolio. So all the Armour algos are now aligned. I'll explain what that means for Armour Macro. Um, and of course, um, if you have any questions, feel free to throw it into the comment section. I'm happy to answer it, whether you're watching now live or you're watching later. Uh, remember, there's a virtual hedge fund. So you just sat down on the desk in the morning meeting. You are a portfolio manager. Figure out your strategy. Execute it. Be the smart money. At the end of the day, you got to make your own choices. Um, okay. So <clears throat> Jackson Hole, wonderful mountain. Love to snowboard it. Don't really care what Jay has to say. I don't care. It makes no difference to me what all of the Fed speak is today. I won't spend a second listening to it. All I want to do is read and react to price action. Th that's it. So just stay focused there and avoid all the noise you hear on CNBC because nobody talking on that channel or any other financial channel for that matter that they pretend is smart money knows anything. They know nothing. Some will be right, some will be wrong, and it won't help you manage money at all. So let's just focus on what the market is telling us right now and how we have to adjust dependent on action at the end of the week. Okay. So risk monitor versus armor um, spy uh, SPXL swing only. Okay. Let's go over real quick the differences um, in these two strategies. I want to give a shout out first to Stephen for capturing that nine day rally and making some good money. Well done, Stephen. I was off the desk when the Armor SPXL long only strategy put the trade on. Nine days later, up 13%, and that position exited yesterday. Okay. So we have the risk monitor, which is a swing strategy. And then we have a strategy designed, quite frankly, I designed it for exactly the action you just witnessed. The risk monitor itself looks out. It's a swing strategy that's taken into account a one to six month window of time. And it is designed to protect capital first and then capture upside when the reward to risk is at its most optimum entry point. And statistically, we have the highest probability of making money. So it will avoid dead cat bounces or whatever that was in the last couple. It avoids that type of wild volatility. The risk reward isn't right. There's no confluence and all these other things. So it's designed to look out one to six months and say, do we have the ripe, do we have a ripe situation where we can put capital to work with a high probability of success over that time frame. And what I did, and now it's 23 months later that we've been following this SPXL swing strategy. What I did more than 23 months ago is that I, I wanted to create something that would be more active and take advantage of what was a quick collapse in the market and then a reverse. And so we created a system, a strategy that looks out no more than one month. It's a one month strategy. It doesn't trade every month. There have been 14 trades in 23 months, but it looks only out one month. It only looks at the probability matrix, the reward to risk matrix of from here to one month out or less. And we dial down how strict it is. And we say, okay, let's open it up and trade more. So the probability come down a little bit which is what we what we thought when we wrote it, when I wrote it. I say we, like the royal we. When I wrote it, I expected the, 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 the what's really interesting is I expected it to hit stops faster and have a higher, um, higher loss rate. And for some reason in the last 23 months, it's just been lights out, which tells me that the market is getting more and more and more algorithmically driven. But that's a conversation for another day. But stay on the focus of what, what just happened here. That strategy is designed to, to trade more often with a different time horizon and a very tight stop. And actually, it stops like the secret sauce, but it's so simple. Let's just keep it between you and me. Once we get on a trade, we just raise the stop every day to the low of two days ago. That's it. So when it rips, 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 every day the stop is going up. And yesterday, as you can see right here, we took out the low of two days ago. Zoom in a little bit. 
Okay, that bar takes out the low of the prior two days. And so that trade number 14 is over. It's a 13.1% return in nine days. Don't forget the average holding period is about nine or 10 days on these trades. So it was right in the sweet spot of why I wrote this strategy to give us an opportunity to put some money to work in a market where the vast majority of my capital I won't put to work. I, it, it, the risk monitor saying, hey, we're going to protect capital right now and we'll capture upside later. There's too much noise, not enough confluence. So we're not going to put the massive amount of capital to work we might put when the risk monitor goes green. But we can open the window for a quick nine-day trade. And that's what that was. Segment here, this is the highlighted you know, uh, chart of the day has to be our SPXL swing strategy. So the highlighted chart of the day, we go back to um, the first trade on uh, uh, October 21st of 2022. The strategy is up 97%. So someone starting a portfolio, let's say of $100,000 would have $197,000. And that does not include all of the treasury bill income that shows up in that portfolio when we're not trading. So we're in the market for nine days, capture a 13% rate of return, right back into treasury bills, collect treasury bill interest until the next trade. Portfolio is up over 100% since October 2022. There's the evidence you guys have witnessed it with me. And it begs the question for me, I don't know about you, but for me, uh, how much capital do I want to really put to work in this strategy every time it shows up? Because I'm pretty sure I'm not putting enough to work right now off of those results. You figure out your own risk tolerance, your own goals, figure out how you want to execute. I can't wait to work with you uh, starting at 930. We'll look for carry trade on the long side. Okay. Um, we'll look for opportunities. Some of the names on our whiteboard. If the market looks like it wants to move higher off of whatever happens. We might be adding to the special situations fund. So let's meet up at 930. We'll all start trading together. Armor of Report subscribers, you're on your own now. You can always throw a question into the comment section here. I'll answer it during the day. And if you find that it's too hard for you to execute the strategy because you got a day job and you need more help, always pick up the phone. Give me a shout. I'm here for you. All right. Everybody have a wonderful trading session. And at the end of the day, after everything I've just said, you got to sit down in a quiet place, figure out your risk tolerance, your goal, your strategy, and be the smart money. Have a good day trading. Guys.